Coming to you from FPA at Shannon Forest, Studio 402, this is Crusader Network News. Here 
everybody, it's Miss Gatto, the Lower School Art Teacher. Just want to invite you and your family out to the Lower School Art Show taking place next Friday, April 14th from 5.30 to 6.30 in the Lower School Main Entrance Hallway. The day before the show, judges will be coming in to view the artwork K3 through 5th grade and will be giving ribbon, first, second, and third place ribbons for each grade level. They will then give three best of show ribbons, one for K3 through four, one for kindergarten through second grade, and one for third through fifth grade. We are so excited about the artistic creativity that the students have shown throughout the year, and we invite you to come take a look. Remember, it's next Friday, April 14th from 5.30 to 6.30. Thanks, Mrs. Gatto. I'm looking forward to see everyone's work, and we hope to see you there. Standardized testing will be April 17th through the 21st. Be sure to get plenty of sleep, eat a great breakfast each day, and arrive to school on time. That's very good advice. Our spring sports season is in full swing. The varsity men's and women's soccer teams both have a winning season so far. Great job, guys. We're so proud of all of our teams. You can check out a full schedule for all of our sports events at forceprizeacademy.com. Come out and support our teams. Go Crusaders! Now it's time for birthdays. Here's Abigail Parker to tell us who to celebrate this week. Today we will announce the birthdays for the next couple of weeks. Fifth grader Lucy Barrett and K-5 friend Mia Scala will celebrate their birthdays on Easter Sunday, April 9th. K-5 friend Henry Sander has a birthday Tuesday, April 10th. First grader Libby Lott has a birthday Friday, April 14th. Second grader Mary Catherine Rollins will celebrate her birthday Monday, April 17th. We have three birthdays on Wednesday, April 19th. Fifth grader Paisley Williams, first grader Olivia McGreevy, and fifth grader Emily Stoneburner. Happy birthday to you all! Thanks, Abigail. Be sure to see your teachers for one of those really cool birthday pencils from your friends at Crusader Network News. All third grade classes have been working on writing some really great poetry this year. They had some of their poems published recently in their very own books called Poems of Kindness and Kindness. That, this is my class's book. And this is my class's book. Here's a peek at the big reveal party yesterday. Hey everybody. Today our third graders are having a big book publishing party. They got, we are going to walk the red carpet, take some photos, and have a ton of fun because they wrote a book. And it was all about kindness and poems of how we can be kind and show kindness to others and what kindness looks like. We wrote this book and they were selected to potentially win a $10,000 writing grant. We didn't get it this year, but we were in the top one selected out of the whole country. That's super exciting. Maybe next year we'll get it. So you guys, I'm so proud of all of your hard work that you got to do in writing and publishing this book. It's gonna sit on my shelf and out in public and be shared around forever and ever. Great job, you guys. Whoa, published authors only. VIP session, very important people. with your writing. So give yourself a big round of applause. Yeah. So, so, I mean, I can't publish this is Miss Steins' class's book. Look at all the work you did, all the pictures and the time and effort that you put in. Uh, wait, that's, 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 that's Jackson's page. I can tell there's a it's on it. So, I have all of your pages. When you get back to the class, you're going to sign your class copy. Okay. Your class dedicated this book to
to your family. That's sweet. Ms. Hastings' class, your book was Poems of Kindness. Y'all signed your autograph page. Well, yes, you dedicated this to those who needed a little extra Wait, when did we sign that? Grab one, grab a juice box, and then grab a goodie bag, okay? we showed you on the last show and watch as we reveal the whole picture. We had a lot of great guesses this time. It was part of the gentleness, fruit of the spirit sign in the lower school hallway. You could have guessed either upstairs or downstairs and be correct. Gentleness is our fruit of the spirit in chapel for this month of April. Congratulations to Mrs. Thompson and Mrs. Morris fifth grade classes, Mrs. Collum second grade class, Mrs. Kinley and Miss Mills fourth grade classes, Mrs. Hines K-5 class, and the fifth grade Ignite class. Great job, everyone. Now here's the picture for this week. Do you think you know what it is? Write down your guess on a piece of paper along with your name and turn it in to Mrs. Sellers' box in the office by Tuesday, April 11th. Be sure to tell us what you think it is and where it is. Be as specific as possible. We'll reveal the whole picture on the next show. Happy hunting! Thanks, God. I don't know about that picture. Be sure to tone in your guesses by Tuesday, April 11th. Now it's time to hear about some special friends we want to lift up in prayer this week. Here's Abby Parker with our Awesome A. Each week on Crusader Number Eight News, we will lift up in prayer specific students and teachers. The Bible tells us to encourage. 
encourage one another and build one another up. One of the ways we can do that is through prayer. Here's our awesome eight students and teachers for this week. Fourth grader, Madeline Harris. Third grader, Maddie Smith. Fourth grader, Cameron Putnam. K-5 friend, Finley Deacon. Fourth grader, Eugene Schmidt. K-5 friend, Vincent Seil. Second grader, Christopher Hamilton. And an office friend, Miss Floyd. Please post these names somewhere in your classroom to remind you who to pray for this week. We will give each of these students and teachers a cross keychain like this to put on your lunchbox or maybe your book bag to remind you how special you are to God and to us. Thanks, Abby. We're thankful to be able to encourage our friends through prayer. We'll bring you the crosses sometime soon. That's our show for today. Before we go, we want to give a big shout out to fourth grader Madeline Harris. Her name was drawn out all the reading challenge tickets to be principal for the day. Sometime soon alongside Dr. Graham. Congratulations, Madeline. That's going to be a lot of fun. Put in good word for a longer PE, okay? Maybe longer night, or maybe longer lunch. That would be great. Remember to always try your best and do everything in a way that brings glory and honor to God. We're taking the next couple of weeks off, so we'll see you later in April. Thanks for watching the show. Happy E!